Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. In the previous episode, we made our way to Titan's Canyon and got sidetracked with a lot of talking, but managed to get ourselves a monk escort who should protect us, for the most part, from pretty much everybody who wants to kill us. Now, before we move forward, I'm actually going to backtrack to where we were robbed. <laughs> yeah, looks like these guys got what was coming to them. And we can actually get some weapons. HK-33. It's not as good as my M16, but... It is an improvement over Rogue's FAMAS. So, I'll definitely be giving her that. Let's see. 45 cal, not really using that, but I'll toss it on Rose. Let's see, that's just something I'll give to Eagle Eye to deconstruct. Actually, I should probably just use that one to uh, add the mods on. Oh, and uh, we also found Ralphie's father. But anyways, the monk escort doesn't come for free. We do have to find three containers of sludge, which is essentially radioactive waste. There are more than enough for us to find, so we won't have any trouble with that. So, we just have to remember to keep an eye off, go off the beaten path from time to time to try and find those containers. But... For the very moment, I am going to pause the recording and take care of deconstructing all of these weapons and applying mods to Rogue's new weapon. Okay, we're back. Managed to deconstruct everything. Got some good parts. Oop, forgot to deconstruct the Moss. And applied the short barrel and the sturdy magazine onto the new HK-33 for Rogue. And I also decided to equip the Cleric's Cross on Rose, maxing out her Surgeon skill and in giving her a nice increase to the Field Medic. It does take her evasion down to pretty much 0%, though. I'm not quite sure if she had any to be... Yeah, she actually did have some. But so be it. I'm mostly keeping her behind cover anyways. Uh, anyways, moving along. Now, as you'll recall, we actually got a quest to find one of Jill Yates cowboys. According to a guide I'm using, Outpost he's meant two, to be... He's meant to be just south of Outpost 1, and I did a little bit of exploring off-camera to see if I could find him, but I wasn't quite able to. Chances are I'm just gonna cut away when I decide to finally go look for him. And I'll cut back and show you on the map exactly where he is. Now, this monk will protect us from raiders, but it won't protect us from everyone. Now, thankfully, he's not the type to go running in and blowing himself up like many of the monks. But, oh jeez, hold on. Nope. Darn it, I had a sneeze feeling coming up, but it just didn't pass. Now my nose is itchy. But, uh, it won't protect us from these guys. Now, he is actually fairly decent in a fight. Weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, though, so that's something to look out for. Now, these guys. Diamondback Militia. They're... Well, the monk's presence is actually going to do the exact opposite for us. The Mad Monk. Kill him and his stooges. Yeah... These guys, these guys are going to come after us no matter what. Okay, then. Oh, Eagle Eye's already behind cover. Good. Let's try and get a headshot on this guy. Take it. These guys aren't too difficult to deal with. Though current positioning does leave us with a problem. Oh, well. Let's see how this new rifle of yours handles. Ooh, that is some nice damage. Nice change up from what we originally had with the Moss for so long. Not really much you can do. These guys aren't heavily armored. Or at least not wearing inductive armor, so. 
not much use to us. Now, I'm not sure if fighting these guys makes them permanently hostile to us, in which case we can't do the whole, uh... The whole... Militia quest line. So, I'm not sure. Now, unfortunately, while he doesn't run in to blow himself up, he will run in. And if he dies, you lose your only protection from raiders. So, yeah. Might want to make sure you keep him alive. He may be escorting you, but you're also escorting him. Oh, good, a weapon jam. That's very handy. Unfortunately, my line of sight is blocked for these guys, so I'm going to have to move up here. I want to get a decent shot off. Well, I got a decent shot off, but it was on my own ally. Thanks for that, Eagle Eye. There we go. The uh, sight line's blocked. Can't really get to any good cover. Because I figure I'll just leave him for Takayuki to finish off. I'm just gonna have to settle for this, because I need to keep that monk alive. Really, all the targets you have available and you go for her. Okay. Not the smartest decision, but whatever. Okay, Takayuki, please hit him. Thank you. The crit was unnecessary, but I'll welcome it. And let's see if we can't get a pipe bomb to blow these two up. Really? Can't, huh? I guess that makes sense, it's at an angle. Whatever, in that case I'll just take my hatchet and run in right next to them. Maybe get an attack of opportunity on them. Unfortunately, I can't get sightlines on him, so I'm just going to have to move in. Now, thankfully, these guys aren't targeting my monk, so that's something at least. Oh, good thing I stocked up on plenty of ammo. Okay, may as well check the bodies, see if they've got some good stuff on them. That yeah, Beagle Eye, if you could move off of him. Come on, let me loot him. Okay, took care of looting and um, other things off screen, because uh, one of the guys was holding something that I'd rather not show up in video and get me in trouble on, uh, on YouTube for. This is Sidewinder, in position. Target under observation. 10-4, King Snake out. Rattler calling King Snake. Go ahead, Rattler. Unknown force has entered the canyon. Uniformed and armed. Just past my position. 10-4, Rattler. Numbers? Couldn't get a clear look. More than four, less than ten. Copy that, Rattler. King Snake out. All units, be advised. An armed squad has entered Canyon. Unknown faction, unknown affiliation. Do not approach until we know more. King Snake out. We're Wolf Wally again, and folks, I've been remiss. <laughs> That's a big word, isn't it? Hey, I told you about DeMonte the Trade Center. DeMonte, your future home. But what about DeMonte the Vacation Wonderland? It's true. Come to hike, come to relax, come to commune with nature, or bring the kitties to the airplane graveyard for a look at those wild old warbirds and those scary-looking old robots. 
Hey, don't worry, folks. They're perfectly safe. Haven't moved in years. So make your next vacation to Mata. Right. Anyways, girl, what do you want, Rangers? I'm only listening because you got a monk with you. We have a pretty little payday if you leave us alone. We just want to know why a badass like yourself is doing little jobs like this. Shouldn't you be looking for a much bigger score? You could pull it off. Hmm, you think so? I... I always thought I was destined for bigger and better. Maybe you're right. Yeah, you are. Screw this. I ain't wasting my time with marks like these. They ain't got nothing valuable anyway. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Thank you. We're heading back out of this horrible fucking place. Okay, then, now if you'd let me zoom out. Game. There we go. These barrels right here, these are the barrels that you need to look this for. This place is pure poison. We should get out of here. No way. I don't even want to breathe. We don't have much of a choice. Fortunately, we gotta talk to this guy. Uh, hi, uh, can I interest you in some goop from our barrel? Uh, sometimes the monks ask people to collect it and we charge them, and we charge them for it. 200 scar- Aha, <laughs> scrap, what do you say? Can we interest you in a foot up your ass? Oh, uh, my, um, no, no thank you. Um, what if I hey, give you a discount? Say, 150 scrap? Unfortunately, we don't have enough of a hard-ass skill to get it down even further. So fine. Sure, we'll take the discount. Here you go. Yeah, chances are, unless you've been focusing primarily on your charisma skills for your face character, you're going to need a, a lot of scrap. Which, if you've been scrapping a lot of weapons in order to get their broken weapon parts to sell off at Ranger Citadel, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Unfortunately, I believe we can only get... Yeah, we can only get one. From each barrel, so we still gotta find two more. Now, there is another reason to come down this path besides saving those people and talking to the, uh... Or I'm getting that sludge, and that's to talk to this guy. I told you, F fuckers, to keep back. I'm gonna. Oh, you're Rangers. Shit, I thought you were the other guys. In that case, listen, I don't want no trouble with you, Rangers. In fact, uh, I could use your help. Name's Skunk Pig, by the way, leader of the Javelins. Or used to be. They're all dead now. Your name is Skunk Pig. The boys say I stink. I couldn't tell you. I got no sense of smell. Who are the other guys? Yeah, a bunch of hard-ass jackholes. Showed up in the canyon a few weeks back, all in black. Always acting like they're in the army. But they don't wear no colors. Nobody knows who or where they are or what they want. But they sneak around like they're on some kind of spy mission. Ain't got no respect for Titan's peace. Either. A monk escort don't mean nothing to them. Look what happened to us. We got dry gulched. What about monk escort? Now that corpse over there was mine. The monks will give you one if you hold up. Oh, finally got that sneeze out of my system. Da da da. Don't care. Is he dry gulched? Bastards came out of nowhere. Mon one minute we're minding our own business, taking a toll from some idiots who are trying to get through the cane without a monk. Next minute, all these black-wearing bastards have guns to our necks, and they're taking all our shit. Our guns, our armor, our food. Even, ugh, even killed our monk. And they robbed the guys we were robbing, too. Totally jumped our claim. That shit ain't right. Then one of my javelins, stupid fucker, pulled a knife, and the men in black started blasting. I ran, got turned around, and ended up in this dead end. I shouldn't have abandoned my, the javelins like that. Do you know anything else about them? I don't know where they came from, but we're not the only ones who've seen them. Been hearing rumors along the canyon. Heard they might have some kind of out hideout near the temple, but I don't know where exactly. Sure you don't know anything else about them. All I know is they're armed and dangerous. Top-grade gear, guns, armor, everything. A real professional output. Outfit. Need help? Now yeah, with these army bastards moving in, I want out. 
Titan's piece is broken and the canyon ain't safe for a small businessman no more. Can you get me out of this dead end and back to Outpost 1? It shouldn't be too much of a hassle for someone like you. Deal? Yeah, alright. Ah, one short on kiss ass. And the gun only gives smart ass. Awesome, thank you. Ready to go when you are. We can talk more when we're somewhere safe, okay? Psst, somebody should tell that guy he needs to take a bath. Alright, and all we gotta do is really just lead him back to Outpost 1. Now, according to this guide, if we do that, raiders within Arizona on the world map should stop attacking us. Should. No guarantee of that. But even if it's just a rumor, helping this guy out should get us a bit of experience. Maybe push a few people onto a level up. Stupid as their religion is, I have to admit, they're doing a good job. Keep Thanks, Rangers. I owe you. Here, take these. I have no use for them anyway. What did we get? Eh, yeah, not bad. We'll give them to Takayuki. Speaking of which, he has just got himself a level up. Face has as well. Copy Ranger team. Echo, congratulations. Now, as you can see, we do still get or do still have the ability to gain level ups from them. Uh gonna put more, uh, more into brute force, because he needs it. But it is rather how shall I put this? Garbled. Let's see. What's Takayuki's current? Yeah, five percent. I'll take that chance and hold off on leveling up my my uh, leadership. Let's get a little more into kiss ass and some into hard ass, because those are skills I'm gonna need. I really should also consider putting my, some of my next points into assault rifles, because I've been a little lacking there. And well, with that, let's continue on into the canyon. Hopefully find some more of that goo. Nope. Ah, shoot. Really didn't want to have to put up with these guys, but so be it. At the very least, we'll get some goo for free, quote-unquote. Ooh. Just what I needed. Unfortunately, sight's blocked there, but chances are they're going to come to me. Uh, Brains, why don't you just fall back and... and set up an ambush, just in case. Takayuki, you get over here, see if you can't pipe bomb these guys. Ooh, yes you can. That is going to be useful. Uh... Let me switch this over to suture kits. Switch this over to... I don't know... Med pack. But I'm gonna have you fall back, crouch down, and set an ambush. Which you can actually do. Uh, yeah, you just fall back. He's actually one level up away from maxing out his toaster skill. Oh, please don't run in. I mean, I know I can heal you up, but I'd rather not have to if I don't need to. Okay, face, you crouch down, gets you 100%, 45 chance. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. And there we go, minimal injuries, surprisingly enough. Uh... Rose, you use that suture kit, take care of the bleeding. And Face, why don't you pick up that goo? That's two down, though I know for a fact we're going to have to spend one to help someone else. And may as well loot these guys. Distribute, distribute, distribute. Let's see, through here. Yeah, Raider Outpost. Could probably get our last thing here. 
Yeah, there it is. Let's... It smells dangerous in here. Let's quick save just in case these guys get mad. Hey you, that's my favorite barrel. Don't touch it. Okay then, let's talk. Hey, saw you jackasses messing with my favorite barrel. Keep your hands off. We can see why it's your favorite. There was gold... a bar of gold floating in the goop. Yeah, it's pretty great. I... it... wait, did you say gold? Yeah, even with the gun we wouldn't have enough. Yeah, that's right. Better leave me and old Goopy alone. Eh, I could probably take him, but I'd rather save my resources for more important enemies. Which, in that case, we may as well just move along. Oh, hello. Rangers. There's old Bart. What's this? It's Kevin's uh, face finds a lock on it. Eh, Takayuki, break it open. Meanwhile, Rogue, you can get along to picking this lock, which you only have 26% chance at. Yikes. Eh. Hmm. Oh. Well. Hmm. The jackass has left my gun right here. Don't know where I am. What happened? Rangers jumped me. Wanted to transfer me to jail. Oh, you can follow us. Uh, okay. And now we just need to get him back to, well, his caravan. I'll just cut it out and meet you guys there. If anything interesting happens, well, I'll resume there. Headed to DeMonta. Later. Oh. I guess we didn't need to escort him the whole way. All right, fair enough. Ooh, so close to some level ups, which I could use to save some supplies. Oh, wait. We could take him, but we shouldn't. Monk Gunslinger. Remember, if we attack somebody who has a monk with them, well, we lose our protection, and that's not something we want to lose. Now then, let's just keep heading along. Hopefully we won't run into more, any more of those honey badgers. Granted, we can take them, but yeah, I'd rather not have to mess with them. Now, we are headed along the right way. Huh. Guess not. Yeah, because this just leads all the way around. Well, I think it's official. I've just gotten myself turned around and lost. Huh. Oh, wait. Silly me. Just gotta keep going this way, I think. No, that just leads to the Raider Outpost. What the heck is Outpost 2? Yeah, maybe it's just beyond the Raider Outpost. I really don't know. <laughs> this place can be a maze. Alright, I think I found my way through. It actually was <clears throat> in the Raider Outpost just past this Ego Death guy whom we saved those people from. Uh, there's more of those Diamondback militias. Oh, what happened here? You know what, let's just leave it as is. Oh my god, what happened? Who killed all the monks? A stingy, a stringy, sunblasted older man with greasy salt and pepper hair. His right hand and forearm are articulated and made of metal. This is terrible. Who did this? Did you do this? No. Then, then who did? It's horrible. I was coming to get my escort to the temple as usual and I, I found this. They're dead. They're all dead. Hmm. Who do you work for? I'm a junk trader. I come through here all the time, trading from DeMonta to the prison. If the canyon goes back to the way it was before the monks came... No, that can't happen. I'd be ruined. It could have been the spies we've seen in the canyon. I've heard rumors of the past few weeks. Soldiers sighted along the roads. Caravans being stopped, but I thought it was just rangers or raiders. These guys look like an army. 
Tell us about your hand. Uh, Dr. Kyle at the Temple of the Titan Hospital gave it to me. He really helps with the junk business. I can tear old machines apart barehanded now. Uh, I hope the doc's okay. I hope she ain't dead. Tell us about her. She's the most amazing surgeon ever. And she'll help anyone, as long as you got the cash. Just ask at the clinic for Dr. Kyle's special and she'll fix you up. If... if she's still alive, that is. Do you need help? There... there's nothing you can do. I was planning to trade all the way to High Pool, but the Titan's piece is broken. There's no way I'm making the trip. I guess I'll just turn around and go back to DeMonta. Oh, this is a sad day. Got anything to trade? Ugh, he wasn't kidding about junk, but I will take the broken weapon parts, if only so I can sell them. And he wasn't kidding about junk. Might as well sell him our junk. If you find the animals that Look, did this... Another of Dr. Kyle's patients. What lovely work on that arm. Well, I guess we know what happened to Outpost 2, because there were radio calls recently about that. About them not reporting in. But I feel like if we go along this pathway, we might just find ourselves... Yeah, another camp where we could potentially get... Wally here with another shameless plug for my hometown, Delmonta. Delmonta's got every... Let's switch over to the Blix, just in case we need smartass on this. Well, hello, Rangers. I won't if you might be interested in the restorative effects of my patented miracle Grow Beauty Cream. We're sadly lacking mirrors, so instead I'll just have to tell you of its age-defying, wrinkle-reducing, beautifying properties. It'll make you look 20 years younger and give you a flattering chartreuse aura. All that at the low, low cost of just 150 scrap. No free samples. Well, it's obvious that it works. How else could you keep such a gorgeous complexion in these harsh desert conditions? Oh, you flatters. I'm afraid I still can't offer you any free samples. Fine, fine. We'll pay. All the more reason that I need to work on this. Great, just take your handy dandy Miracle Girl container and scoop some in. Or some up. And that is number three. With that, we can head straight for the temple, though bear in mind there is... We're going... Well, how shall I put this? We're going to need one extra. Let's see, still got a little bit of time. Can make some progress in the canyon. I doubt we're going to make it to the exit. Move your damn card. I Don't need to get, get through. Don't get involved, Rangers. They've each got a monk escort. Let's quick save. Oh, I can't at this time. Oh, great. Now you got the damn rangers involved. I got them involved. You're the one making a scene. If you just move your sh piece of shit cart out of my way, you've got some nerve calling my cart shit. I'll tear your throat out. If you look closely, you'll see that there's plenty of room for both of your shitty carts. Stop being stupid and move around each other. Or, and if you don't want our bullets involved in your guts, you'll shut up and move your junk out of the road. Yeah, let's, let's be smart. You sons of bitches, I'll... Oh, you're right. Damn, guess so. Can't believe I almost got myself killed. I guess the craziest contagious in this canyon. I guess we were just being pig-headed. Eh? Eh? Get it? Ugh. All right, Bessie. Let's take it around to the right. Good girl. Your piggy's name is Bessie? Mine too. Huh. Maybe we ain't seen different after all. Ugh, that's some sappy shit. You bunghole. Just move out of the way. Yeah, if you don't get involved in this, they will blow each other up. Which, kind of a waste. Especially considering we got enough XP to level up Brains, Rogue, and Eagle Eye. But I'm going to have to hold off on that until next episode, or in between episodes, because we are out of time, and I don't want to have to deal with those Gila monsters right now. So, with that, we have come to an end for this episode. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or forget to hit that straw poll link 
to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.